The Impression Pi makers created a headset they claim can add 3D holographic images to a user's vision. We want to tear this apart. OK. Do you mind? Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Augmented reality and virtual reality are the next technological gold rush. Google and Facebook are buying up companies that produce this tech, spending hundreds of millions of dollars to do it. If Impression Pi's headset can meet their claims, they have a chance to get in on that market. So what we're looking at here is obviously two cameras, stereoscopic vision. You are putting one camera in the place of each eye. This tech is actually mimicking how our eyes evolved. Each camera, like each eye, feeds a slightly different perspective to the user's brain, which takes those two varying images and combines them into one viewpoint. The magic happens when a computer adds images of its own, creating a virtually unlimited expansion of your vision. How do I interact with it? So with this device, you can just use bare hands. Just the hands, mm -hmm. just moving hands. Now, is this your sensor? Did you guys design this? Yes. Yeah, everything right. designed in-house. Oh, excellent. This is yeah. not off the shelf? You made this? Yeah, we made it. It's called Fingal. Let fingers Fing go. <laughs> you must have a history designing very complex electronics. Yeah, that is much not... more complex. <laughs> much more complex? Yeah. Making your own circuit boards is such an intricate and hard thing to do. They have moved well beyond the maker's garage here, and I'm beyond ready to try this on. Do we get to try it? OK. OK, let's do it. I see we've laid some pieces out here ah! on the tape. You can do this crazy hard technology, but you haven't figured out how to tape the camera lenses to this yet. <laughs> What? <laughs> you got to be kidding me. I see everything in the room, but I also see this big map on the table. It's like there's something on the table that isn't on the table. And there's things on the table like this high. So high rise buildings. Say you're at a ruined city, and you're wearing these, and you're walking around the ruins, but at any point, you can trigger it, and it rebuilds the city back on top exactly. of the ruins. Exactly. Now you're walking around exactly. in the real city. <laughs> what we are trying to make. Gotcha. The educational potential is huge, and bringing 3D objects into teleconferencing, that's an idea that really interests Mark. But their prototype needs some work, and their graphics aren't up to par with the competition. How long is it going to take to get to a final product? Is it going to be a year? Is it going to be a month? A few months. A few months. This is a lot of work. As a consumer product, it's still not completed yet. We still have to make it look like a real product.